Hello, welcome. My name is Brian Sir. I'm a TME at Nutanix. In this video, we're going to look at how to assign multiple vGPU profiles to a VM running on an AHV cluster. Let's get started. Okay, we've already logged into our Prism instance to save time. We'll now navigate to the VM view. And <clears throat> we already know this is a cluster that has uh, NVIDIA T4 uh, GPU cards in them. So we can create a virtual machine. And in this case, we're going to create a virtual machine that has more than one vGPU assigned to it. Give it a quick name for our, our VM. And then scroll down, we'll uh, just add CPUs, give it some memory. And then when we get to the GPU section, uh, we'll add the first one. Now, NVIDIA does have some limitations. Uh, not all uh, vGPU profiles can be assigned uh, you know, as multiples. So the typically the lower ones uh, that have a smaller amount of frame buffer cannot have uh, multiple GPU profiles. At the current time of this recording, only the uh, maximum amount, so this is a T4 card. Each T T4 card has 16 gig of frame buffer. So in that sense, I have to pick a, a, a VGPU profile that uses all 16 gig of the frame buffer. So this is really just kind of a different way to do pass through uh, if you've done it in the past. So I will select um, <clears throat> from the workstation licensing option, which will show me a different set of profiles. Then I will pick the uh, 16Q profile, which uses all the frame buffer, and I'll add my first one. It's just warning me about a neater driver in the VM. And then now the add GPU is highlighted rather than shaded. So I know that I can have more than one of this profile. So I'll go back and add one. And now it's uh, defaulted to the same one. So we'll click add again. And we can now see my virtual machine has two of the uh, 16Q profiles assigned to them. So if you have use cases that has large needs uh, for GPU resources, this is a great way to provide uh, virtual machines that can satisfy those resource requirements using HV as a hypervisor to load. So we just saw how easy it is to assign multiple vGPU profiles to a single VM running on AHV clusters. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.